Welcome to this video on Fusion 360 and how you can create an exploded diagram using components you've created in different files, bringing them together and then separating them out. This won't cover how to produce a drawing from that, that's in the next video. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new file and you need to save it. So new design and save, give it a name. Make sure you're saving it in the correct folder. Now, what we want to do is to take these components and put them together. So the first thing we do is to find the first component, the central one, insert into current design by right clicking. And if we want it in the center, just leave it there and say, okay. If we don't, we just move it around by picking up one of the arms and the arrows and moving it about. Now that we've got the first component in, put the second one in. When you're doing this, just try and think about which components need to line up to which ones. So for example, I need to put the pin in here before I can put the split pin that goes into that pin. If I brought the split pin in first, it would just be sitting around getting in the way. So let's move this out. Okay, now we want to align this. This might seem counterintuitive, but some of the components will need to be aligned first and then removed. So we go to modify, align, align the central point of this cylinder to the central point of that hole and say okay I'm just going to flip that set vertical and then we're going to go to the move tool and over here we want to choose component that's this component and as we move it around it asks us which point on the component we wish to use as the point we're going to use as our reference for moving it so just be careful not to just randomly click on it or it may not move in the direction or distance you want. So obviously you can type in the distance here if it matters. Press OK. Now we're going to align the split pin in here. So we just go find our split pin. Insert. If we move it up and across. And then zoom in. And we want to align the bottom of the sphere with the top of the hole and then drag it out. So first thing we're going to do is to go to the align tool again and see, there we go. That part there, that part there. Okay, move tool. That's the M key on your keyboard as a shortcut. And zoom out, a bit more space. There we go. That's now aligned. And now what we need to do is to align the rod in the center and move it upwards. So let's insert the rod and move it to one side. Align that. When you've got the pan tool or the orbit tool, if you're using a, a laptop, you may find that you can't access any of the other tools. Just push escape. And then. There we go. And OK. And then move it. And there we have our exploded view of our product. Now obviously, depending on what you want to do with this, you can either use it as a fusion drawing, which is orthographic, or you can produce an isometric drawing, and we'll show you how to do that in the next video.